Today we're going to be building the Arctic Skinner, model number KK530BL, and we're going to be using our Bubinga pre-machine handle scales. Of course you can use the other many types of handle scales that we've got. Uh, we do have others that are pre-machined. We also have lots of handle material that is not pre-machined that comes in sheet form, comes in scale form, comes in block form. You can just take your pick. We have everything from bone to hybrid woods to natural woods to vapor res. We have more than what you can even imagine. Uh, all you got to do is check out on the website at knifekits.com. Uh, when you get there, you can just go to uh, knife handle materials and take a look. Let's go ahead and tape up our blade. This will protect our hands and our blade. Then we're going to go ahead and get one scale on there, and only one because we're going to want to be able to drill it. We'll get it set on there and then we'll tape that on. While we're doing that, uh, speaking of the drilling, the holes that we have in the tang for the pinstock are 3 16 inch. And then at the back of the tang there, you can see a slightly larger hole that is a quarter inch, and that is for the thong hole tubing. So what we're doing with this tape is making sure that we really secure that handle scale on so that when we drill it, we get the holes exactly where we want them. Now, although we are drilling all three holes, this is optional. Uh, if you so desire, you do not have to put the thong hole in there. If you don't want a thong hole tubing in there, you could just leave that hole undrilled and nobody would ever know that it's there. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and drill our pinstock holes. Now, as you can see, we just stuck a piece of thong hole tubing back there uh, in that first hole, and then we put a piece of pinstock in the second hole, and that's only because even though you've got the handle scale taped on, it does help hold it even more steady so that you make sure that all your lines are perfectly aligned. So we're gonna repeat that for the other side, and then we can come back and get ready to put our handle scales on. So we're going to mix up our epoxy here. And by the way, uh, on our pin stock and our thong hole tubing, we have pre-cut those down to one inch pieces. Those come as six inch pieces. The beauty of having a six inch piece, even though you may only use a couple inches here on this kit, is our kits all use fairly standardized uh, thong hole tubing as well as pinstock. So by having the extra pinstock around, you can find another kit. If it's using the same size pinstock, you don't have to buy more. Another thing you can do here to really dress up the knife uh, is you can get some mosaic pinstock, uh, which also comes in these sizes that you can put in there, and it is absolutely gorgeous. So now that we got the epoxy spread evenly and thinly on the scale, Go ahead and put that on the tang, and then we will go ahead and put our epoxy on the other scale and set that on there, being careful to make sure that our holes line up as best we can. This is not a, a dead race to get this done, but you do want to move fairly quickly uh, because you do want to get your thong hole tubing and your pin stock in before your epoxy starts to set.
So the important thing to remember when you clamp your scales on is to get as even of pressure as possible from the front to the back. And we're making them snug, but don't tighten them down so hard that you crack your handle scales because that makes for a bad day. Although at this point, admittedly, if that did happen, uh, your epoxy should not be <laughs> solid yet, so you can always take them off and start over. And what we're doing here is we are peening our penstock. And what the peening does is it expands the penstock inside of the handle scale as well as inside of the tank. So even though we have the epoxy holding everything together, this just helps give it extra strength and rigidity. Once we've allowed our epoxy to cure for about 24 hours, we are going to go ahead and take our clamps off. And we can start sanding down our handle scales now. Uh, we're also going to sand down the rest of the thong hole tubing and the pin stock. This is a relatively soft steel so uh, you'll be able to sand that down to get that smoothed in with your wood. Of course we're going to start with a coarser sanding belt and we're going to work our way finer and finer. Uh, these sanding belts are available at knifekits.com uh, as well as we have a grinder, a good, actually really a great beginning grinder is the Kalamazoo. Uh, it's made right here in the USA. Uh, you can pick one of those up at the website as well. you're just getting started, I might recommend that you work with some hand sandpaper if you don't already have equipment. Uh, sanding block or sandpaper is fine. Uh, and then uh, if you decide that you really like this, I would recommend picking up a sander grinder because it does make this easier. Important thing to do as you're doing this is make sure that you're feeling what's going on. Go slow. You don't want to take off too much wood at one time or too much metal for that matter. You just want to feel, look, make sure things are shaping up the way that you want them to be. And then we're just going to polish it up, polish the wood, the tang. This is a part to be very careful. This is actually one of the most dangerous tools in the shop, believe it or not. Uh, it can grab that tang and, and shoot the knife out of your hand if you're not careful. So make sure you have a good grip. This is also why it's very important to have that blade taped up. I hope you've enjoyed today's build out of the Arctic Skinner KK530BL. If you have, please take the time to like this video. And also, when you build out your own Arctic Skinner, please be sure and send us pictures. We'd love to post those up on our website, as well as around our various social media platforms on Facebook and on Instagram. You see here a list of the items that you can use to put this kit together. Um, of course, as I said before, there are many options, but these are what we used in this particular video. So if you're wanting a, a basic everything that you need so that you can get started, you can just go right to this list, get what you need. Thanks again for watching. Please take the time to subscribe to our channel. Uh, as well as subscribing, click that notification button. And in the future, as we add more projects to do, you'll be notified immediately.